Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be a uh, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for April 15th to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I uh, want to remind you once again that this is going to be a general reading for Cancer Star Sign, and for that re reason, uh, the reading itself uh, is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with, uh, every, single, oops, with every single different cancer. So, uh, in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but you will have to relate the reading with your personal situation. As, as I said, for every single cancer, their situation is going to be different. Your situations are going to be different from one another. Should you, however, want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, guys, going for the general topic of your week here, we do have the Four of Pentacles, followed by the uh, negative approach toward the situation. That is going to be the Tower card. After that, we do have the positive approach toward the situation, which is the Eight of Swords. And the final card here, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Two of Cups. So once again, Four of Pentacles, the Tower card, then it is the Eight of Swords, and finally we do have the Two of Cups. My God, pretty straightforward reading. I mean, I can summarize the reading saying you are on the right track. I mean, you are doing the right thing here. Whatever you are doing, it is the right thing or whatever you are planning to do throughout the week, that is the right thing that you should do. Uh, that is pretty much cumulative from all the cards, but let's go just one by one and indulge in it. So first one, which is the topic, we do have the four of pentacles. So what that card means really for you is that you are going to take throughout this week a, a defensive measure, trying or not just trying, but also establishing a, a secure future for either your career or for either your relationship, solidifying your positions in there, either career-wise once again, or either relationship-wise. It is likely that throughout the week, you are going to feel more and more comfort in what you're doing and where you're finding yourself, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Needless to say that the Four of Pentacles as well regards to money, and um, if you are expecting raise or any financial incomes that uh, to come to you, they are likely to happen. However, with the Four of Pentacles, there is that thing that should you focus on the monetary success, you're most likely going to have it. But should you focus it on it alone, it will create lonely and empty existence. Therefore, with the Four of Pentacles, it's, it will be advisable, guys, to truly share your good fortune with others should you be able to accomplish that good fortune throughout the week, which you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever unless in the last minute you change your plan. Uh, then we do have the Devil card as a company, uh, as, a, as a companion to the Four of Pentacles. Formation is passive supporters. And well, basically with the Devil card here, you can fulfill a yearning of yours. Uh, which are going to place you in this comfortable spot, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. It simply this gives you here the power of sustainability. So you can sustain your relationship, you can sustain your career uh, with uh, little to no efforts. That is, the only thing that you got to do is not bail out on it and not change your plan, your original plan in the very, very last uh, minutes. Now, one thing I want to say more about these cards is that whatever decision you will have to make throughout this week, it should be focused on a long term goals and long term prospects rather than on something mom uh, momentary, uh, it comes from moment, you know, something that lasts just for a moment or something temporary. So your decision needs to be more oriented to the permanent stuff that are going on regarding uh, your situation, either career wise or either relationship wise, instead of um, 
something that is uh, temporary. Just to give you an example of that, just imagine um, you did a really good job at work and your boss approaches you with a proposition. You can either choose one time bonus which is a quite substantial sum, all right? Or you can choose to be promoted. You can have either, either of those. So you gotta choose the one to be promoted, which is a more long-term goal than the, just the temporary one, uh, which is, or, or the short-term one, which is the bonus. Okay, so while, as we clear out these cards now, the next one, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is the tower card. So you should not jeopardize the situation with risk with risky moves, excuse me, whatsoever. That being said, uh, it will require a, a subtle eye upon, um, how can I express it, upon what is achievable and what is not achievable. You This week, you got to strive only towards secured goals, goals that can be accomplished within the framework of the week and reap their results in a long-term prospect. So what I mean, if we go with the example of uh, the promotion, you take the promotion this week, which is gonna yield results in a long term, okay? Uh, but if this promotion doesn't happen in this week, or it's not a possibility for that week, probably we, this this reading relates to something different. So uh, with uh, the tower card here, you do not jeopardize your positions. Uh, with a risky moves of hope that this these risky moves are going to give you the growth you need. The growth you need or the growth that you deserve is through well-established patterns, through well-established um, plan, rather than, like I said, changing at the very last minute, hoping that this is going to yield results. Additionally to that, trying to transform your situation, it's something... Uh, unadvisable here, transform in a way, completely salvaging it and starting from a scratch. That is not a thing that that is not a thing that you should do because with the first card we see that you are having quite so, of an established uh, positions here in whatever you are going through, and you should not give up on those positions. The accompanied card that is going to be the hangman formation is a active enemies here. So uh, with the hangman, it looks like that, um, how can I place it? The stillness itself, well, this is how it's gonna look like as we do have the hangman. We're gonna, it's gonna look like that you are making very slow progress and that will be the temptation for you to, to, to try a bold move. And this bold move is gonna stir your situation in a bad way. It is better to make a hard and slow push but uh, but consistent push rather than to uh, rely on miracles and risky moves, that is. The hangman here points to the perspective you have. It's quite, um, it's quite accurate. I mean, the initial perspective, not the uh, frantic perspective and uh, the, um, how can I place it? It's not even the other, this an inside, it's a perspective created from panic, all right? So you want a fast improvement, you don't have it. So you say, oh my God, I gotta try something else. Uh, and you, uh, and the first thing that comes to my mind, you incorporate it and it's just, it's a, it's a colossal failure, all right? So you gotta go with your, with your current plan that you are embarking the week with. So the next card that we do have, it is the positive approach toward the situation. That is the Eight of Swords. So you are quite aware of where your limits and capabilities lies with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords on a positive position, it, it, it does relate to a couple of things. First thing uh, that relates to is that a something that is going on, either career or relationship-wise, firmly depends on you and cannot be proceed with uh, without your incorporation. Therefore, you do have a, a very solid thump uh, in your sleeve, should I say it that way. And you can play that thump at any time you want. Additionally to that, the Eight of, um, the eight of Swords 
shows that you don't have to look very far for your resolution or for your improvement that is it is already figured out and the only thing that left here is executing it straight away so you don't have to look outside of the box should you say that way and, and seek for some sort of a miraculous moves that are to give you the improvement you need you already have it you already figured it out that is the point here the only thing that it is left it is actually the um the physical part which is um, manifesting it or advancing with it forward the accompanied card that is going to be the seven of swords here so the formation is active uh, active supporters and with the seven of swords it seems that you are going to get exactly what you deserve in a sense of the as much as you work that much is what you're going to get therefore it is quite advisable here throughout the week to be really focused on your um, uh, focused on your things and your endeavors instead of, uh, for example, helping others, all right? Th this week is all about you guys. Also, uh, with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords, it seems that you're going to make a pretty clear point why you deserve improvement, for example, in front of your girlfriend or in front of your boyfriend. Also, in front of your boss or supervisor it is where you're going to make clear points that you do deserve promotion let's say or you do you do deserve um <clears throat> a raise in salary the thing here with these couple of cards as a positive approach is that through um solidifying on your current um your current positions and creating that, that comfort zone it seems that everybody uh, it's not like they're going to admire you but they will not try any slinky or uh, a surreptitious moves against you and they will see you as a real force a force to reckon with that is so uh with this uh with this power that you're gonna have uh it it is quite possible that you are going to um, obtain, for example, benefits that you have been bereft from in the past that have been given to someone else instead of you. Uh, let's say that you helped uh, some project to be achieved into your career. Someone, a someone else get the benefits from that. Well, this is no longer be the case. You are going to be recognized as the one who helped there and therefore these benefits are going to be redirected to you and so on and so forth the thing is that this week you are going to um obtain you know uh with uh, with this approach this advance of yours the benefits that you have been depraved from additionally with the seven of uh, swords here falling into the positive position but that is only if you should follow your original plan and you realize how capable you are in reality how much you can expand your limits without um without actually jeopardizing those limits and should you follow all that we do have at the end guys the infamous should i say or the famous two of cups so two of cups needless to, needless to say that the card does represents love it does represents two people binding together to create form something third so we may talk about here about the appearance of someone that you may have a love interest in or the very least that is going to be very dynamic dynamic in a positive sense cooperation with a another person now when we do have the two of cups shyness is something that it is um is not a virtue what i mean is that you should put your shyness on the shelf here and truly try to make a a contact with this person so let's say you um uh, let's say we're talking about relationship all right and you re you are single and you um solidify your position as a single in a sense of that you sort all the things out and now you create your comfort zone meaning that you now have things that you can do which makes you happy on your own you don't need anybody else and as soon as you don't need anybody else someone else comes around and this time around without you oppressing yourself upon that person uh one thing desperately to be with it with them it is going to be a good thing if if you are with them but also it's going to be 
a good thing if you are without them therefore there won't be that pressure you know where um, it seems that, that you are losing the whole world if you don't make that relationship happen okay and that will allow you to act much more let's say balanced and accurate toward them with a much greater chances to truly win their heart two of cups it is uh the, let me see the accompanied card here we do have the high priestess so if we're talking about uh love then this this uh, this combination does signifies i really hate to say it because i don't believe in it but it is a good combination for soulmates because the because the uh empress uh the high priestess card, excuse me, does signifies what your soul yearns for and it comes around manifesting itself through the love of the two of cups. So if you seek for soulmate, it doesn't get any better than that. All right. So showing uh, if we're talking about that here, you may uh, the the previous cards could manifest that you are showing to the world and to that person as well that you are uh, solid enough and consistent enough to be their partner that's just for example but should you as well talk about career with these couple of, of, of uh, cards then it means that uh, you are going to have that really a flawless environment into your career created at the end where you have solidified your positions and um, the interactions in between you and your co-workers are fairly good and there will be a, a long-term plan that you are going to incorporate yourself within which means that your position at your career is going to be sound and safe for a, a very very long time that is only guys if you don't jeopardize your current positions but you uh, strayed to um, to maximize on them instead of you know bursting them out so that being said cancers this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 15 to April 21st 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, as a general reading once again is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different cancer but should you want a personal reading in which your situation personal is going to be analyzed by me through tarot just uh, like i did for the few examples in this video and i will uh, tell you what is going to happen with it uh, for its future that is the subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.